So this was my first spray painting. Blech. Hey guys, if you're here from part one of my video, welcome to part two. And if you didn't watch part one, well, you still get to see me sweat. In my last video, I primed and painted my accent wall to a lighter shade of gray to brighten up my room. Tried spray painting for the first time and wasn't that great at it because it ended up looking like one of Kylie Jenner's lip kits. But at least from afar you can't tell and isn't that what really matters? My room got some wanted updates and much needed decluttering. That means I had to buy more stuff. Don't you just love how that works? Okay, so I need a place to put my bags. So I bought a storage compartment thingy to put over here. But it doesn't come assembled, so I'm gonna be doing that. Okay, it came in this huge, ginormous box that I had to slide into my room. I couldn't even carry it at all, like I could not lift it. So this is as far as it would go. I'm gonna be opening this box and then just bringing it piece by piece over to that corner over there. And that's where I'm gonna have my storage compartment for my bag. Where do I have it currently? In there. This is what it should look like later on, if I can put it together. I'm gonna be watching some YouTube in the background while I do this. were wrong I swear <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go by what I feel is correct <laughs> Okay, so obviously I didn't have the easiest time putting this furniture together, but in my defense, it's not from Sweden. I went through two kombucha bottles while building this because I don't really exercise anymore and I need something to keep my digestive system going. You gotta do what you gotta do to keep things moving along. <laughs> but eventually, just like a clay, it can glow up all in due time. Done! Alright, this is how I currently store my bags. Not the best. Alright you guys, I am sweaty, but I'm done. <laughs> I didn't end up using the middle shelf just because I needed my tennis bag to fit and that was the only way. But the rest of it, just slide this over and we have our bag storage here. I'm so happy I finally don't have to put this inside the closet squished in between my clothes on the floor. But yeah, I'm glad I finally have proper storage for my bags. And it has the farmhouse doors, so it gives it that warm, home, cozy feeling. Because my accent wall over there, actually, it was much more of a blue-gray than I thought it would be. So it turned out to be pretty cool, and so I just wanted to warm up the room a little bit. But yeah, it's complete, and I'm so very happy with it. Alright, I'm gonna go take a shower now. And then we move on to curtains. I used rings with clips to give the top more weight which would hold the mesh curtains in place better and make it easier to slide back and forth. These white mesh curtains serve its purpose in being pretty and just aesthetic. However, it's not practical because it lets in too much sunlight. I know the point of painting my accent wall a lighter shade of gray was to make my room brighter, but now I'm being woken up before my alarm clock because of the sun. So I bought these 
blackout curtains and they are white. They have a black backing in the back so it'll be able to block out the light much better. So I'm going to hang it up like this. It came in a set of two so I'm going to put one here and one here and just kind of have my room look like it has one big window because I'm going to close it like this. <sighs> yeah. I didn't realize that my skirt rode up until I was editing this video so for the sake of not flashing you any more than I already am, I'm going to zoom in on my next clip to cut out my bottom. And here I'm just fastening the rods with the screw. I measured the height of my room to consider when purchasing so that I can hang these as high as possible for the floor to ceiling look. This way my room appears taller. So now I have two types of curtains, one to diffuse the light and another one to block it out completely. Another good function for the rings with clips is that it allowed me to overlap the two curtains a bit so that the mesh curtain would never be completely separated from the solid curtain and it would look like a set, meant to be together. Down come the paintings. Alright, so next up we have this clock. I want to replace this one with this one, this Roman numeral clock. Living out my European deco fantasies with this gigantic Roman numeral clock. So for this corner, I'm gonna put these fake pampas grass dried plants. So they came in a set of three and I also bought this vase here to put it in. It is quite small for these long pampas grass. However, I couldn't find any one that I liked that didn't cost over a hundred dollars. I'm gonna put in this here because it does need to lean against the wall and then this green plant since it's real i'm definitely gonna keep it i'm gonna try and bring it back to life I'm gonna leave this here for now hope it looks okay so with the furniture i just built i went ahead and got this to put on top i think this contrasts nicely with the storage unit still keeping with that whole warm homey vibe theme so yeah it's really pretty So first we have my beautiful light gray wall. It took forever to paint it and I understand why people don't like to paint because it is such tough work, especially because I had to make it a lighter shade from a darker shade. So the priming obviously took a long time and the paint took a long time, but I finally got it to the color that I want to and I brightened up my room. But because I brightened up my room so much, I was being woken up by the sunlight. So I went ahead and got these floor to ceiling curtains. I've always wanted the mesh because it looks so pretty and I want to open my window and have the breeze kind of flow through the mesh, you know, like woo. <laughs> but obviously that doesn't solve the problem of the light. So I got these blackout curtains which have these black linings in the back. They're actually really good for blocking out the light. So I've been actually able to sleep through the morning now. This was my first spray painting. Blech. So this was my first spray painting project. It actually turned out pretty well. What I learned was that you cannot you have to be patient with it. I was just so excited to spray everything, but you just need to kind of like shoop, shoop, shoop. Yeah, and that's how you spray paint it. But it turned out nice. You can kind of see like the drippings on it. Or maybe not. You can't see the drippings on it. But basically, because I spray painted at the same time way too much, it started to drip a little bit. But it's okay, no one's gonna know. Next up, we have the thing that suits me at nighttime, appropriately named the comforter. I switched it out for this white pinch pleat comforter ghost down blanket because I thought this was really nice. I've been eyeing it for a while and I just really like the design of it too. So I feel like it gives it that luxurious feeling but also very homey at the same time. So I did show you guys my storage unit. It took me a while to go through each and every single box or cube to clean out, but worth it. Finally got it cleaned and now everything looks so much less cluttered. <laughs> I realize I still do have a lot of stuff, but it's definitely a lot less than before and I feel like everything is a little bit more organized, cleaned and wiped down. But yeah, it turned out great. Here was my biggest purchase for this entire room makeover because this is, you know, furniture. So I put this together and I left the middle shelf out because I needed somewhere to put my tennis bag and, you know, these tennis rackets 
they're pretty long <laughs> I also kind of felt like my room was like a boxy feeling it had a lot of sharp edges so I wanted to kind of soften up the room with the blanket and also this because it has a farmhouse vibe and I thought that was a very comforting vibe so I got these sliding doors it'll house my purses so that I'm not just stuffing them into the closet anymore it came out so pretty. I really like it. What about this tray? Isn't this pretty? I feel like this was also a really great purchase. And now when I come back from wherever, I can put my bags on here and just kind of, you know, have a space where I can just put random things because I feel like my desk was not big enough because I already have my computer and all that. I filled this up with a few things that I thought were really nice. I got this vase, which came as a matching set from the other vase. I actually made this one. I know I showed you guys the metal sheets before this is one of the things that i made from the metal sheets it's a cinderella carriage so yeah i guess i have army tanks and cinderella carriage <laughs> and then this is just a candle that i have as well from bath and body works i'm leaving it open because it still has that scent without you having to light it and it'll just make the room smell really nice okay so i couldn't put the pooper up here because it was in the shot <laughs> yeah no that's not gonna work <laughs> So basically I put my painting that I put from my last video for my best purchases video and then I left the hat on here as well. So these will be my two decorative pieces and I guess the background for whenever I have Zoom calls. So that concludes the room tour. I hope you guys found this entertaining and I hope to see you guys next time.